Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, Principal Enterprise Architect and VCDX257 for Virtual Elephant. And in this video, we are going to cover what a cloud transformation is and why it is so crucial for organizations to undertake this effort in 2024 and beyond. In addition, we are going to cover the key drivers of a successful cloud transformation and how our organizations can begin to see operational efficiencies, greater security and resiliency, as well as a number of other benefits that can come about as we modernize our organizations to be able to drive these cloud transformation initiatives. Let's get started. In today's ever-changing digital landscape, it is crucial for organizations to undergo a cloud transformation in order to stay competitive in the mid-2020s and beyond. Now, the first thing that we need to understand is what exactly is a cloud transformation? Now, I define a cloud transformation as an IT organization's effort to modernize their data centers, their applications, and the data itself into a cloud-based services-oriented architecture. Now, these efforts by an IT organization to modernize their operations as well as the applications themselves are all geared around the opportunities to see increased efficiency, scalability, resiliency, and business continuity in 2024. Cloud technologies are going to allow us to modernize both our technical assets as well as our human assets as we undergo these cloud transformation efforts. When we think about what the key drivers will be behind a cloud transformation effort, it really coalesces around two major efforts. The first is scalability and flexibility of our technical resources, as well as additional cost efficiencies by moving our applications to a cloud-based services-oriented architecture. Now, it's important to note that when I'm talking about cloud-based infrastructures, I'm not specifically saying that this needs to be in the public cloud or in the private cloud. It will be up to an IT organization and its architecture team to decide where the best place to host applications will be, whether that means leveraging public cloud-based services such as what AWS and Azure offer, or what you might build out within your own data centers or co-location facilities based on a private cloud architecture or private cloud platform such as Broadcom's uh, VMware's Cloud Foundation or VCF platform. Regardless of what the underlying infrastructure might be as you undergo this cloud transformation strategy and initiative, the key thing to focus in on is that we are going to be transforming how we typically provided our IT catalog or IT service offering into a solely focused service-based offering for our consumers to consume from. So we're going to want to make sure that we, we define what services our applications and our end users are going to need from our cloud-based technology stack that we are going to be building as part of this cloud transformation. So when we think about those key drivers, especially focused on that scalability and flexibility of cloud-based architectures, we want to remember that one of the reasons that public cloud came into being 20 plus years ago was really to address the scalability and flexibility issues that organizations were having at the time. Cloud-based service offerings for our organization, whether we're consuming from that public cloud or we built a private cloud-like experience that mirrors what the public cloud is able to do, is really focused on that scalability and flexibility. We no longer want to wait for IT procurement cycles to be able to acquire new services, to build out new service offerings for our end users or launch applications. We want that cloud-based architecture that we design as part of this cloud transformation process to really focus on being able to provide dynamic resources that our applications can easily scale up and consume more, as well as scale back and consume less during and depending on what our peak transaction hours are for our applications. This is going to be crucial from a technical standpoint of having a successful cloud transformation strategy, 
realized within our organizations. Now, as we think about the cost efficiencies that we as an organization want to be able to realize as part of this cloud transformation initiative that we're undergoing, it's important to remember that, again, the public cloud was a way for us to be able to change how we were classifying our costs between OpEx and CapEx. And when we consume from specifically a public cloud provider, we're going to be able to only allocate those resources that we need at the time that we need them. So instead of having to have massive outlays of hardware and networks within a data center, we can put that burden of those hardware costs on a public cloud provider and then only consume those services that our applications need based on the demand being placed on those applications at the time. Now, these operational and cost efficiencies that we want to realize from, the, from a cloud-based uh, service offering, a cloud-based architecture as part of this cloud transformation are going, to be able to be, are going to be crucial for us to be able to show cost savings from an operational cost perspective, as well as be able to gain additional insights into where our applications are costing us money. So being able to have additional pieces of telemetry and observability built into our applications as part of this cloud transformation strategy are going to tie directly back into these cost efficiencies. That is, that is going to be a key driver for us as part of this cloud transformation initiative. There are really two other areas within this video that I want to cover why an IT organization whether it's being driven by the CIO or the CTO within your company, would be undertaken as a part of your organization's and your company's modernization efforts in 2024 and beyond. These two areas are really focused on our operational efficiency and resiliencies, as well as our organizational and cultural shifts that we want to make within our companies. Now, as you've seen and I've spoken about before, organization and culture shifts are a massive part of this cloud transformation. Ultimately, your success with a cloud transformation is more than likely going to be dictated by your success within changing the culture within your organizations and even the organizational structure itself over that technology side of the, the cloud transformation and the modernization of the applications themselves. In order for companies to be successful with a cloud transformation, they need to be spending significant amount of time and resources on changing the culture within your companies to be able to realize all of the benefits that you are expecting to realize as part of this cloud transformation. Now, whether it's because you have an aging workforce or you have legacy applications that you are finally ready to modernize, or maybe it's just part of a consolidation effort to be able to reduce the physical footprint of your infrastructure, whatever the main drivers are behind your cloud transformation, it's going to be important to uh, tackle the cultural shift by talking to your employees, talking to the individual contributors, and helping them to understand what your vision is as the executive leader within your IT organization and how this cloud transformation is going to benefit both you, the company, as well as them individually. So spending time helping them understand how they are going to be able to gain new skills as part of this cloud transformation is going to be crucial to your success. And organizations that I have seen over the last 10 years that dedicate the time to changing the culture within their organizations. That is the sole indicator of when they're going to be successful with a cloud transformation. So once you've decided to tackle that cultural shift and that organizational shift, potentially as I've spoken about, about by removing layers of middle management, and enabling the individual contributors to have more decision-making capabilities to push those decisions up through the strategic objectives that this cloud transformation is undertaking, the next thing that a cloud transformation is going to be focused on are those operational efficiencies. And so large amounts of time from a technical side of the cloud transformation needs to be focused on 
modernizing your applications. And both these operational efficiencies and this cultural shift, these are really going to play together with one another because as you enable your development teams and your IT organizations to be able to modernize your applications to gain those operational efficiencies that we're chasing after, that they are going to now understand how they're going to do it and why they are going to do it and how it's going to be important as part of this cloud transformation. And so that enablement that you want to do with your IT operations teams and your developers is going to be crucial here. So part of what we're going to want to be able to do is be honest with ourselves where we currently have operational inefficiencies. Where do we suck? What do we need to improve on? And then once we're honest with ourselves there on the hard side, we can also be honest with ourselves around what we do good. What are we really good at? Are we really good at alerting and monitoring? Are we really good at having telemetry to understand trends within our applications on how users are leveraging them or trends within our application to understand when are the peak times within our infrastructure? When are we taking the most traffic? How often are our global load balancers having to redirect traffic between geographic regions because we're having an outage in one area or perhaps we're testing a business continuity plan? What are we good at? And so it's going to be important from an operational efficiency perspective to understand and start there. What are we good at and what are we bad at? What do we need to improve? Because really this cloud transformation is going to focus more on what we need to improve and less on what we're really good at. Hopefully we can continue to be really good at those things that we're good at today and we can just improve our maturity and improve our capabilities on those areas where we're operationally inefficient within our organizations. Ultimately, our cloud transformation effort and initiatives are going to be focused around and wanting to drive additional agility within our IT and engineering organizations. We want our organizations to be able to become more agile as we look to adapt new technologies which are on the horizon and staring us at in the face today. Things like generative AI and how quickly that became a massive focus for so many organizations. And the organizations that are most likely to find success with generative AI and these other emerging technologies today are the ones that have already set themselves up for success by undergoing a cloud transformation. It's going to be much more difficult for our legacy IT organizations who have not yet adopted a cloud-based services-oriented architecture to be able to find success with generative AI and these other emerging technologies that are coming out in 2024 and beyond. We want our IT organizations to be agile. We want our people and our individual contributors to be enabled to find success in a cloud-based service-oriented architecture. And it's on us. It's our responsibility as IT executives and IT leaders and engineering leaders to help make sure that both our individual contributors, our individual operators, SREs, engineers, have the tools in front of them and the capabilities through our platforms to be able to find success in 2024. As always, I hope you like this video and this content that I'm generating. Please make sure that you subscribe to the Virtual Elephant channel on YouTube. Check out our blog, virtualelephant.com. Leave a comment below. Make sure you enable those notifications so that you know when new content is coming out. I'm really excited around this track, around cloud transformation that I have planned and the videos which will be forthcoming in a couple of weeks as we continue this series to help you as executive and IT and engineering leaders know how you can undergo these cloud transformation initiatives and have success. As always, hit me up on Twitter at Chris Mutchler. And I look forward to talking to you next time.